Hello, and welcome to another Indie Horror Game. This time I'll be playing the demo to The Lies We Tell Ourselves, and if you want to do the same, you'll find the links and the details all down below in the description, alright? Now this is going to be a first-person psychological horror adventure, and I really hope you enjoy it. I'm going to press start, and we're going to get into the story here, alright? Vincent Arno is a 27-year-old man who still conveniently lives with his parents. He has no expenses, no responsibilities, and no ambition whatsoever to leave and make a life of his own. Having dropped out of high school at the age of 15, Vincent keeps on comfortably getting by with doing the bare minimum in the family business, while spending all his earnings on meaningless items and evenings with friends. Indifferent to the kind of person he's become, he blames his lack of accomplishments on anything but himself. But deep within, he doesn't really care. And yet, Vincent sees himself as a good guy, unaware that doing the right thing takes way more than just not doing the wrong thing. The lies we tell ourselves. I hope you enjoy it. Alright. I'm in control here. There's something. Jesus, my head! It's just a void around me. The last thing I remember was getting drunk with the guys. Wait. Where the hell am I? I don't know, but I assume that's not a typical lock for your wardrobe, is it? Silent Hill 4, eat your heart out. Oh! Alright. Where did that come from? What's this? Uh, let's see. There you go. You think you just got here, but in a way, you've always been here. Among comforts you didn't earn and knowledge you never craved. Protected and imprisoned by yourself in a safe yet immutable existence. Changing your fate takes way more than just complaining. It requires commitment, dedication, and the knowledge that uncertainties and failures are part of the game. In the absence of all that, you're only left to keep on rotting here, until your inevitable death. Lucky me. Right, well, let's say I want to change my ways. How am I going to do that? Alright. This is where I live, is it? Alright. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't know if I like the look of that. All these pipes. Oh, oh boy! What's that? What the hell? There's something sticking out of the toilet here. Uh, impossible. I made this stick like ten years ago. You made this? What? Alright. I picked up a slippery stick. I have no idea how I ended up here, but right, okay. I guess I'm gonna use that for something. An art piece, I think. Seems expensive. You think? Okay, so maybe this, this isn't your place, is it? No, alright. Uh, what have we got down here? A vase, some candles, nothing remarkable. I did- ooh, disgusting. Is that a maggot? Ah, close that up. Alright, space and light in here. Some books. Uh, that's- oh, that's locked. Okay. Can I use the stick? No, I guess not. I can't- I can't pry it open, right? No, I can't use that here. Alright, let's see then. A giant cactus. Pretty nice looking bed, honestly. The bottle of wine they gave me for my birthday. What's it doing here? Hmm. Oh, what's this? It's sunny and warm here. It is, isn't it? Looks like something's missing. Yeah, it seems like something used to be hanging on that wall, but it's missing now. Alright. Seems like we can turn that off. Let's keep it on, though. Another giant cactus. Oh, those portraits. What the hell are they doing here? My father, my mother, and me. Alright, so I can I can flip these rounds. Let's see, maybe I'm gonna find something on the back. Nothing? No? Okay. Hmm, alright. My f <laughs> My favorite towel! So many memories! You have a favorite towel? Alright! I'm curious as to, to what these memories might be, really. Drying yourself, probably, right? Okay, we've uh, we've been ignoring the elephant in the room, but let's take a look at this. Padlocks and chains block any access to the wardrobe. Impossible to force it by hand. But, what if you had a slippery stick? Can't use it. Okay, never mind. Look at this TV! The giant screen TV I always wanted to get, but it's connected to nothing. Right. Got a phone down here. Hang on. Ah, uh, it doesn't seem to work anymore. Right. Alright, we've got so many of these pipes, but this one seems to be leaking. What the fuck are these pipes for? 
Oh, they make a mess, apparently. What's this? Another note, another message. I see you decided to act. Very well. It'll be a difficult process and there will be consequences. However, great endeavors very often arise from small and insignificant gestures, such as looking inside oneself and discovering who one really is. Looking inside oneself is bold and there. Right, okay, that's, that's important. We've got to look inside ourselves. Uh, unfortunately, we're not getting a proper reflection here, so I guess that's not it. What we got here, then? An artsy decorative vase, all right. Oh, some adhesive tape, which I can take, actually. Okay. Anything else? What about down here? More books. All right. Uh, hang on, hang on. A valve. Right, seems like the handle's missing. Um... Maybe I could use the stick somehow? I, no, okay. Just out of interest, do we... Ah, okay, so we can combine items. We've actually made a manageable stick. It's no longer slippery. Okay. Books. <laughs> I've heard of them. Yeah. I hope you have. It's cold and rainy on this side. Right, what is going on here? The fuck indeed. I don't know what that shit is, but I I'm not getting any closer. Right, what's in the safe, I wonder? Hmm, alright. My dream gaming station! Shame it's turned off. Stupidly expensive wireless headset? Yeah, right. Oh, I suppose if I wanted to stay here, I could. But I want to better myself, don't I? By looking at this. I have no idea what the fuck this is supposed to be. That makes two of us. This painting reminds me of a dream I had. It was so vivid, I can still clearly remember it. Interesting. Maybe we'll be seeing that later on. I don't know. Science tomes. I really don't feel like reading them at all. Oh, apparently I broke this and got rid of it, but how can it be here? Like the bottle, I suppose. It's a reminder. Looks like going back isn't an option. Right, uh, now that the stick is manageable, I wonder if maybe I could use this to, to pry this open. No, still can't use it. Here we go. Hmm. Ah! There's something wrong with the reflection. Yeah, that's... there. Right, okay. Let's go take a look, shall we? This portrait. What about it? Mum painted it when I was a child. She was happy back then. For a while, at least. Not much has changed since then. She still calls me when it's time to eat. And that's that. Not exactly the revelation I was hoping for, I have to be honest. Let's go back over here. Is there anything else that's out of place? I don't think so. There's chains on the wardrobe there, unfortunately. What about the fireplace itself? Is there something down here? I've got to say, this feels a little bit like an escape room. More than anything else at this point. Let's see if the note's gone. Right. So, that stopped dripping, but I'm still wondering what the pipes are for. I need to sort this out. Maybe I can take a look at the safe after I've blocked this up. I can't use the stick. I, I do wonder what the stick is for. What's this? Was this here before? Ah! Choices you make or let others make for you. What you feel or pretend to feel. What you see, or don't want to see. The past that you believe is finally behind you, but that instead is even more a part of you, now that you can no longer touch it. Everything contributes to make you who you are, or could have been. Everything has a price, even a second chance. Don't waste it. Ah, there's a key! Ah, right. A small golden key. For that cupboard? Let's see. Uh, was it this one? 
Right. Hey, there we are. And there's the valve. Right. Okay, so that's going to go behind the TV, obviously. Nice. Okay, give it a turn. Just the slightest of turns, and... Well, it stopped that, but... The radio. What the hell? What's this? Sounds like someone's soaring wood. What are you doing in here, son? Ah. I'm making an axe. But this wood is too slippery to grip. Can you help me? Oh, right. now you want an axe. an axe. You're always using my tools to mess around with your little projects. How many of you started so far? Uh, I don't know. Fifty or so? And how many have you finished? Uh, three. Maybe you should think about more important stuff than all this bullshit. Go wash your hands. Dinner's ready. But, Dad... Now! Okay... Stupid right. So that slippery stick, or sorry, manageable stick now. Was that the the handle for an axe, maybe? Huh. Alright. What are you doing in here, son? Okay, an anyway, axe. we uh we've That's stopped this from going all over the safe, so let's take a look at the safe. Right. Um a number between zero and hundred and nineteen. Looks like there might be two of them. Oh, hang on, hang on. Maybe you should think about more important stuff than all this bullshit. Go wash your hands. Dinner's ready. Right, I think the second one might be three. He mentioned the number at the beginning. What was it? Fifteen? I think it was fifteen. Right, hang on. Let's see if that's the case. Can we go over to fifteen? That doesn't seem to work right. Hang on, hang on. Let's listen to this again. What are you doing in here, son? I'm making an axe. But this wood is too slippery to grip. Can you help me? Oh, now you want an axe. You're always using my tools to mess around with your little projects. How many of you started so far? Uh, I don't know. 50 or so? Oh, 50? How many have you finished? Five zero. It needs finished three, right? Hang on. So let's go all the way to 50. And see what happens. Ah, now we're getting a green light. So, yeah, the second number has got to be three. All right. Yes, okay, so we got it open. There's the axe head. Right, we are creating this axe. All right, looks like there's another note as well. Enough with the fucking letters. There's nothing on this one anyway. Oh, it says fine, apparently, somewhere. Hmm. Okay, so hang on, just drag and drop. Nice, okay. Finally complete. Technically, it only took 10 years, but whatever. Solid grip, sharp blade, decorative carvings. I'm sure it'll come in handy soon enough. Right. Presumably, I use it on the wardrobe. Yeah, I think it's working. All right. That's one way through the chains. Ah, didn't last too long, though. Oh. Whoa! Alright? I wasn't expecting that. Okay, yeah. Um... Can I maybe remake the chains? What the hell was that thing? Nothing that you want to run into again. Looks like there is a way through. Um... <laughs> is that actually coming from the radio? <laughs> we don't need any of that, do we? I think we do need to go through, though. Right. Alright, I've got my hands at the ready. <coughs> Jesus, what a foul stench. i got to say, I quite like this so far. Motherfucker, even when I get trapped in. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I do like the way it looks, too. Alright, looks like there's a vent down there. Oh, what are these pipes? No going through them? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, vent it is then. Presumably this is the way the the worm went. The, the lamprey, whatever the hell that was. I can't stop thinking about that stupid axe. That day with my father, something changed. It wasn't just the day I stopped sneaking into his tool shed. 
was the day I gave up on something I really enjoyed doing. I never thought about it, but part of me died that day. Huh. Well, there you go. I suppose that's what this game is going to be about. Introspection, right? Changing my ways. There's maybe my first realization. None of that sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go left. I'm gonna hope for the best. Right. Around the corner here. Okay. What next? Another test for me, maybe? Uh, I don't think there's a jump in this game. Don't think I can get over that, actually. Um, Alright. No prompt to vault or anything like that. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe I needed to go the other way instead. These marks. Something came through here. Something, something big and something black. Something slimy. Something even slipperier than my stick. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is looking that hopeful either, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't really want to go down there, honestly. Oh, and I can't. There's an invisible barrier in the way. Okay. Oh, there's a hook. Oh, if I had something to attach to this hook, maybe I could climb down. Right, my inventory is empty. Uh, did I miss something? Maybe there was something down by the light on the other side. There's... Whoa! What? All right! Perfect. That's where I'm going, I think. I didn't miss anything back in the room, did I? Uh, I, I? I don't think so. There's probably something this way, right? Am I gonna get myself a flashlight? Some sort of light source? Can I grab one of these tubes? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, it carved the path for me. We got some rope? I'm not seeing anything. Maybe there's something around here. Oh, right. What did I just load? Rope? Hmm. Thing must have gone that way. What the hell am I hearing? This place is going to fall to pieces. Okay. Oh, hang on. Ah! Right, okay. It's an old rusty chain. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, boy. Okay, right. Let's, let's go, I think. Yeah. It might be coming back. All right. Let's go. Oh, no, it's not all right. Let's go. Let's go. No, oh, no. Ooh, okay, keep going, keep going. Just in case. What the hell? What the hell indeed? Were these chains here before? Right. Okay, so... I've got something to attach to the hook now. I've got the chain. And we're going to descend using that. Alright. Okay. Hopefully it'll hold. The chain probably will. I'm not so sure about the pipe. Hmm. Jesus, what the fuck am I doing? But it's the only way out. And that thing is still around somewhere. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. On three. One. Two. Four. Three, I guess. Ooh. Sounded like that was a long way down. Oh, okay, I think that's going to end the demo. Yep, that's going to wrap it up. That was the demo to the lies we tell ourselves, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video, all right? It would mean the world to me. Thank you. But what did you think? I thought this was pretty good overall. Yeah, a solid start. A promising start. Bit of a shame there wasn't another 5, 10, 15 more minutes that we could have played through to really sink our teeth into the gameplay and the mechanics and maybe see some more surreal environments. But based on what I've played, I'd like to play a little more. I want to know what's going to happen to this character and if he's going to change his ways. And if so, what's going to cause him to do that? More tests? More trials and tribulations? More giant lamprey looking things? I don't know, but I want to know. So in that sense, I think the demo did a good job. And really, I, I've got nothing to complain about. I love the way it looks. I like the level of interactivity. It seems to have a, a good grasp of the horror elements. I think I'm going to enjoy the premise and the story as well, providing that it's not too patronizingly heavy-handed with its message. Good audio. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to like about this one. 
If I was to make any suggestions, uh, maybe I'd say some subtitles for the radio conversation so I don't miss here 50 is 15, for instance. Uh, and maybe if the main character's inner monologue was voice acted, that might be better. But yeah, I'm curious as to see where the lies we tell ourselves is going to go. But yeah, I enjoyed that and hopefully you did too. See you next time. Where the hell am I? I don't know, but I assume that's not a typical lock for your wardrobe, is it? You're only left to keep on rotting here, until your inevitable death. Lucky me. My f <laughs> My favourite towel! So many memories! I have no idea what the fuck this is supposed to be. That makes two of us. Ah! There's something wrong with the reflection. Yeah, that's... There. Don't waste it. Ah! Didn't last too long, though. Oh. Is that actually coming from the radio? <laughs> we don't need any of that, do we? Maybe there was something down by the light on the other side. This, whoa! What rusty chain? That'll do. That'll do. Oh boy. Okay, right. Let's let's go. I think. One, two, four, three. I guess. Ooh. 